Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm really thankful to God and to any teachers for giving me this opportunity. Today, we are facing problems and challenges in both spiritual and physical. So, I would like to encourage all of you through Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It is remind us that how should we live and what should we do in today's situation. Therefore, the topic of my message is live wisely and work hard for the kingdom. According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, is the futuristic and prophetic answer Jesus gave to his disciples. It is very important to understand that this is one of the prophecies of Jesus or his return as a judge. Various scholars, pastors, theologians have different views on this text. Some view this as the end of this earth, while the others believe that it is not the end of this earth, but the end of this world as we all knew. In Matthew chapter 34 verse 2, when Jesus told his disciples that the temple will be destroyed, they asked him, what will this happen and what will be the sign of your coming in of the end of the age? Jesus answered in one more explanation of what will happen before he returned. In accordance with the Joe Gray expositions of the Bible, there are four parts in his answer. Part one, in this gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom refers the message of kingdom of grace and glory, which is the kingdom of heaven. Part two, shall be preached into the world, means the gospel is to be preached to all the nations under the heavens, and churches were planted in most places through the ministry of it. Part three, for a witness unto all nations, as a testimony of Christ and salvation unto all, such as should believe in him. Finally, and then shall the end come. Finally, this is the hard part. This is where the end. But what does Jesus mean by the end? It seems he said that after the successful preaching of the gospel of the kingdom to the entire planet, then the end shall come. According to Pastor in other Paul Pliny, the end spoken here is not the end of the end. It means the end of the age of the tribulation through the second coming of Christ. The final act will occur 1,000 years later as millennial kingdom of Christ come to end. Dr. Krikano, a New Testament scholar, said that Jesus claimed in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, does not apply to all people will be covered, but that the kingdom will not come in its fullness until all people have had opportunity to embrace or reject the king who will be their judge. This passage was no more fulfilled during the nativity of the church that was the Great Commission. The prophecy of Matthew chapter 34 verse 14, like all of those in their content, await a future fulfillment, especially during the future tribulation. So, when will the kingdom come? I do not know. I am not setting any date. I do not know when the end will come. And yet, I do know this. When the church has finished a talk of evangelism in the world, Christ will come again. The word of God says Dear brothers and sisters, many signs of the end of the age have already been healed. There are false messiahs who claim to be the real messenger from God in every country of the world. There will be wars, just as the battle of Armageddon. Revelation chapter 80 verse 10 reminds us that during the battle of Armageddon, the city of Babylon will be destroyed in one hour. Generate calling power of the United States claimed in 2060 that the Soviet Union could destroy the entire world with nuclear weapons in one hour. Female and pestilence everywhere, millions of people dying every year of malnutrition, and there are new diseases turning up in the world today. We are currently 
facing COVID-19, and before this, there were Ebola, H1N1, AIDS, and many more. I can go on in all for many of the eschatological sites. The sight of time is almost a good thing. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm not discouraging nor scare you. However, Jesus clearly said it. In the hour that you think not, so come the Son of Man. And when he returns, he is not coming to be a savior. He is coming to be made judge. And if you have trusted in him as your savior, then you are going to be with the Lord. Therefore, let us sacrifice ourselves by live wisely and work harder for the kingdom of God in order to make the gospel of kingdom to be preached to every corner of the world. May the Lord bless his words and bless all of us.